I always feel like Alice in Wonderland coming under this particular fallen log. It's kind of like an entrance to a magical land here in the high tropical forests of Panama. These highland forests are cool. They're wet. They're draped with mosses. This morning's temperature was 54 degrees. Kind of chilly. And the animals here are animals that are adapted to cool, wet climates. People who live outside of Panama rarely know about this kind of forest. It's not the typical idea of a tropical forest. So a highland forest at 7,500 feet means that I have trouble breathing. Coming from a uh, lowland, almost uh, zero altitude environment, this is a big change. We're very interested in certain kinds of species that are found here that are now rare species because their habitat has been rapidly eliminated in the last 20 years. This forest has large trees that are desirable for building purposes. And we're very interested in the small woolly squirrels that are called mountain squirrels that live in this kind of habitat. Uh, they're found in western Panama and in Costa Rica on only on mountaintops and these are very special little squirrels and we'll show you more about them. We're also interested in a large bird, well it has a long tail, almost three feet long, and the bird itself is a beautiful iridescent greenish bluish bird. Uh, this is the Quetzal, the resplendent Quetzal, known from mythology of uh, the Mayas as a gorgeous godlike bird. So we'll show you some of these animals and we'll show you some of the other organisms that are found in this special habitat, the organisms that grow here that are many of them poorly known by biologists. So we'll show you them. Mountain squirrels like this one are hard to see. They travel high in the trees in a foggy forest. I learned that they have an odd diet of tree sap and flower buds. This tiny hummingbird is a fierce fighter. He surveys his territory by glancing back and forth, and then he defends his territory by flashing bright colors. This opossum came to feed on our garbage. It's a type of marsupial, and the females carry their babies in a pouch. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to a cloud forest. You can learn more about tropical forests and the animals and plants that live in them, see our quick video lessons, and then join us in a two-way video chat in the Rainforest Connection. See you then!